Yep. Well, so welcome everybody um, to the February 22nd, 2021 special session of the Oregon City School Board and um, calling it, calling the meeting to order uh, with the comments that um, it's been a heck of a couple of weeks and <laughs> I, I see that our yeah. our audience um, attendance is about a quarter of what it has been, and I'm wondering how much of that is due to power outage and Wi-Fi outage. So I hope you all are back next time and um, fully fully functional. Um, so should we move to Patron input or calling roll, what's our next? Yep, yeah, you want to have uh, Brenda take roll? Brenda, could you take roll? Yes, I can. Thank you. <laughs> Director White? Here. Director Kurdeman? Here. Director Tecorius? Here. Director Farmer? Here. Director Saul? Here. Director Spires? Here. Thank you. All, pre all present, sure. So um, are we moving right to patron input or was it, we're, I guess it's the next meeting that we have those, those other yeah, pieces. This is, this is a special session for okay. your two action items only. Okay. Uh, and this is patron input specifically for the CTE, um, but, uh, um, resolution and um, Lisa Norman will share with you any patron input we have received there. Thank you. Um, good evening, directors. At this time, you have seven submissions. I'm sorry, eight submissions for patron input, but none of them are related to the CTE or the letter to the Clackamas County Board of Commissioners. You will receive those um, eight entries at the end. Um, I believe tomorrow, Brenda prints them off and sends them to you or sends you a link for those. All of them do have to do with, um, seven of the eight have to do with returning to school and one of the eight has to do with the renaming of Ogden. Lisa, do you feel as though we make that clear? Um, I mean, this is the second time this has happened where the patron input for uh, it was not related to the agenda. In the um, actual form itself, it specifies what um, each meeting and the purpose of each meeting and when patron input would be received during each meeting, that it is not received during a work session, that for a special session, special session, it is only received as it relates to the agenda, but that for a regular session, patron input is taken on all topics. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're moving to the action items. And um, I think that we are turning it over to Wes. Thank you, Chair Spires. It's good to be with you tonight. This um, board resolution has to do with our bond funded uh, CTE, Career Technical Education and Instructional Space Improvements at Oregon City High School and Gaffney Lane Elementary School scheduled for this summer. Um, as you know, we've had a request for proposals out on the street um, late in December and um, then um, have been in, in the selection process to um, select a construction manager, general contractor for these projects. And I have asked our project manager, Angela Kosamaronga, to um, speak to those improvements. And so Angela, why don't you go ahead and speak to the, this resolution and um, you can handle any questions that the board might have. Absolutely. Thank you, Wes. Um, good evening, directors. Good evening to everyone else. Um, it is wonderful to be here with you all tonight. Um, um, just a um, carrying on from um, where Wes left off. We um, issued a request for proposals in January. Uh, so just giving you a little bit of background. Uh, January 8th, 2021, this year, for um, the uh, Career Technical Educational Instructional Space Improvements Project. Um, and we held a pre-proposal meeting um, on January 15th. And we had five qualified 
contractors attend. On February 1st, um, we had our deadline for proposal submission and we received one qualified proposal. Um, that proposal, even though we received just one, we um, performed due diligence and went through the process of evaluating the proposal um, and scored the proposal with criteria that was outlined in the RFP that we submitted. And that RFP was also, um, just as a reminder, published um, in uh, the DJC and in the Oregonian. Um, so they were evaluated on that criteria by an evaluation committee and that evaluation committee consisted of school district members and then a member of our design team from Brick Architecture. And you will find um, that information in the findings um, in your packet. So the, um, the criteria that they were evaluated on uh, for the proposal, you'll see um, that they scored 80.5 points out of 100. Um, which, which is good. Um, our team was, was pleased with their proposal, or at least our evaluation team was pleased with their proposal. Um, we then went ahead and conducted an interview as we would in any situation and um, evaluated them on the criteria that is listed. You will see the scoring rubric that we used and we, you'll see the average scores that they received from this evaluation committee. And we had outlined um, who that um, evaluation committee was as well. And they scored 34.5 points out of 50, um, which we were also pleased with. So Brokamp and Jagger um, is that firm that submitted their proposal. Um, and they have been a valuable partner to the district. They've worked on many projects, including the cohort one projects. Um, and the first, uh, I believe, CTE project we worked on um, for this bond project in the summer of 2019. Um, so we have a wonderful working relationship with them. We're very, we're very happy um, that they were interested in proposing um, for this project and we're happy um, that they scored well. Um, and it is with this information that we would like to recommend um, the selection of Burkamp and Jagger as our Construction manager, uh, construction manager, general contractor, CMGC for the CTE projects at Gaffney Lane Elementary School in Oregon City High School. Thank you. Um, are there any questions for Angela? I'm not seeing any. So do we have a motion to Approved 2021-241. Um, Chair Spires, um, since there are action items, can we approve them together? Oh, <laughs> Chair Kurtiman. Um, I, I don't actually, I, I don't know that that would work. Okay, well, in that case, I would like to make a motion that we approve 2021-241. We have a I'll, second. I'll second this, Pamela. Brenda, could you pull the board? Be happy to. Director Farmer? Aye. Director Tecorius? Aye. Director Saul? Aye. Director White? Aye. Director Kurdeman? Aye. Director Spires? Aye. Motion approved. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, and thank you, Angela. Um, Pamela. Oh, I was waving goodbye to Angela. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you can nice stay. to see you again. <laughs> All right. and, and, and Chair Spires, just as a point of clarification. Okay. I, I, I withdraw that request. That's absolutely ridiculous. I was thinking that we were doing two separate action items for um, Oregon City High School in Gaffney Lane. So I apologize and we can move on now. <laughs> all right, well. Sorry about that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so um, do I just introduce this Larry or do you have something that you wanna say? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, the only thing I would add is that this is just a, a process. Um, th this resolution was tabled 
um, by the board. And, and so if you want to have a discussion about this, you first need to entertain a motion to remove it from the table <laughs> and, oh. and have that second and approve that. And then once you've done that, then you um, are back to considering the motion that has already received a first and a second, so. Well, th thank you for that tutorial. Yeah. So do we have a um, motion to remove 2021-423 from the table? Uh, I would be glad to move that we uh, move 2021-423 from the table. I'll second. Brenda, could you pull the board? Yes, I will. Director Saul? Aye. Director Kurdeman? Aye. Director Farmer? Aye. Director DeCorius? Aye. Director White? Aye. Director Spires? Aye. Motion approved. Thank you. So, um, so continue to school me on this, Larry, if you feel yeah. inclined. So we're, we're now considering yeah, yeah. Now, so now you can have your um, board discussion about that resolution that you have before you, and okay. um, and then go ahead and have uh, Brenda pull the board for your vote when you're ready. Okay. So, um, as you all will remember, when we were last together, we um, were considering a letter that was initiated by Director Farmer and myself. Um, uh, basically um, registering, it's a letter to the Board of County Commissioners, registering um, our uh, outrage, I guess, about some of the comments that um, Commissioner Schull had made, the um, objectionable comments, and, uh, and asking for his resignation, asking for him to resign. Um, we tabled it because one of us had not was not had not really um, been aware of the issues and wanted to do some studying of it before we voted on it. So we left it for today. I'm wondering if if it makes sense to read it again or just discuss it. Yeah. Would you Would you like me me or someone else to read that? Sure, that would be great. Okay. Larry, are you looking for it or were you, okay. You're muted. You're probably halfway through it and muted. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. <clears throat> um, all right, this was a draft letter um, from, from the school board or on behalf of the school board to the Board of County Commissioners calling for the resignation of Com Commissioner Mark Scholl. Dear Commissioners, on June 4th, 2020, the Oregon City School District Board of Directors unanimously passed a resolution condemning violence and racism and pledged to actively and intentionally counteract racist practices. Today, the board reaffirms our commitment to promote inclusion and equitable access to opportunities for all people, including those who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized. The Oregon City School District serves and partners with students, family, staff, and community members from many different experiences, cultures, and backgrounds. This includes individuals who identify as transgender, BIPOC, Muslim, refugee, immigrant, and people with diverse abilities. We celebrate this diversity and highly value the cultural and individual assets each person brings to our district. We understand our responsibility to educate culturally responsive students who are prepared to fully contribute and thrive in our ever-changing global economy. To this end, we must call out bigotry, white supremacy, nationalism, and racial, homophobic, and xenophobic violence of any kind. This violence of speech or action does measurable harm to our students, families, and communities. On January 11, 2021, it became public that now Clack Clackamas County Commissioner Mark Scholl has made multiple and contemptible transphobic, Islamophobic, racist, and xenophobic statements through social media. These statements cause fear and harm 
in our community. For us to remain silent now would cause additional harm to the students and families we support and would betray our core value of equity and inclusion. Today, we reaffirm our commitment to support everyone's right to feel seen, heard, safe, and welcome in our community by joining with other Clackamas County and regional leaders in calling Mark Scholl to immediately resign as County Commissioner, respectfully submitted on behalf of the Oregon City School Board of District Board of Directors, Martha Spires Chair. So, so what I would like to do um, is ask for uh, a motion and a second and then have some discussion. You, you already have that. So you're at the discussion point. So you just need right. to hold discussion and then Brenda okay. will pull the board. Okay, does anyone have any comments that they would like to make um, now before we take a, a vote? I, I do, Chair Spires. Yes. Um, first of all, I want to thank the board for um, giving me the opportunity to research this topic. I, I know that I, um, as I expressed before, I, I have taken myself off social media because I'm, I, I'm not finding it a healthy um, environment for me. And I want to start off by saying how much I abhor hate speech in any form from anyone. And looking at the posts by Commissioner Scholl just confirms my commitment to cutting off social media. <laughs> um, we must not dehumanize others when we sit behind a screen um, because we cannot see the impact of our words on others. And it does harm not just to those that it's directed at. Hate speech, violence affects us all. It demoralizes our entire country and we must all be careful not to dehumanize anyone because in our self-righteousness, we become the very thing we criticize in others. The board is tasked with developing district goals that support the physical and cognitive growth and development of students. And we're tasked with preparing our students to function effectively in a rapidly changing world um, and for the futures that they choose to pursue. Um, to kind of put the, in perspective what we do as a board, um, this last couple of weeks, I read over 50 letters from concerned parents, teachers, and students. Um, I've read countless articles that, the, that parents have, have submitted. Um, I've sent letter, letters to our legislature and to our governor. And these are issues that we are tasked with as board members. It sometimes is a heavy lift. However, I believe it is not the purview of the school board to make resolutions that are not involving our school district decisions. If we as a board support a recall, where do we draw the line? Will we start endorsing ballot measures, other candidates, other recalls? These actions actually detract us from the tasks that we are elected to do. And I don't believe that I'm alone in this view as there is not a single board, that a school board that is signed on to the recall. Um, as much as I agree with the contents of the letter, I don't feel it is in the purview of the school board. Therefore, I will not vote in favor of this resolution. Thank you, Director Tecorius. Um, are there other, Anna or Director Farmer? May I clarify, Yvonne, this is not a recall. This is us asking him to resign. We are calling for his resignation, him admitting um, that he, the opinions that he is espousing, the views, the words he is saying have an effect, a negative effect on our students, our families. So this is not a recall. This is us calling him to resign. I understand. Um, is there any, anyone else who has uh, Director White? Um, I, I appreciate your words, Yvonne about hate speech, they were well said and, um, and you went a little bit different way than I thought you were going to. But um, the, I guess I just want to mention or feel uh, that, we, that one of the things that you talked about was that, um, you know, hate speech and behaving in ways uh, behind screens that, um, really eat away, I think, at the morale of our community and our democracy. Um, uh, don't, 
that those things um, do affect our students. And they do the very fact that we have committed as we did um, earlier uh, in this school year to uh, the Black Lives Matter uh, movement. Maybe this actually was this summer. Um, I see them kind of in the same realm that um, giving, uh, taking this stand and saying someone should not be in office and someone should not be serving when they use their power in that way. So I, I just wanted to, to kind of bounce off the words that you said and say that's one of the reasons I would support it is because I think we are making a statement um, to our parents and our kids that we will stand up and protect them in our community. Thank you. Herdman, are you unmuted on purpose? <laughs> no. Sorry. Okay, Director Saul. Yeah, I have some discussion. Um, I plan on supporting this and I, um, I, I do respect the position of Director Tecorius. I think that I, I take the point that um, uh, I take it seriously that if something like this certainly really uh, can legitimately be accused of a, a political act by the board, I don't agree that it is. And the reason, the reason why is I think that if calling out hate speech can be seen as political or for us to say that a county commissioner isn't qualified to be a commissioner because um, he's uttered hate speech repeatedly, then if that is political, then I think it could be seen as political to be able to utter hate speech. And I, I, I subscribe to the belief that it's outside of politics for us to objectively declare that we're an inclusive, we need to strive to be an inclusive society and, and that um, for us to call out this type of hate speech for what it is officially, I think is a, is a way for us to stand with um, our families and all, and make them feel as protective as protected by us as possible when they're um, potentially threatened by somebody that's in office based on their what what they say in their views and but again I, I respect the the controversy around making those distinctions and drawing those lines and I think it is complex um, but I I fall on the side of supporting the letter um, thanks and um... I, I wanted to say that um, somebody whose opinion I um, respect, although sometimes it can be blunt, is that, um, is that evil flourishes when good people stay silent. And I agree with Stephen that um, racism and um, transphobia and all of the other uh, hate speech is outside of politics and that we make a mistake by um, assigning it uh, within the realm of political speech, I guess. Um, and I obviously will be supporting this letter as well. And um, Director Tecorius, I think what you had to say was really um, very eloquent. So I appreciate that. Any, any other comments? Oh, I meant also to thank uh, Director Spires and Director Farmer for writing it. Thanks for stepping up. On that. So, so we vote now, is that, or, okay. <laughs> Brenda. Question and have. Uh, okay, call for a motion. Do we have a motion? I have a clarifying question. There yeah. is already a motion, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're calling for the question. You're just calling. So Brenda will pull the board. Right. Okay. I have one more clarifying question before you <laughs> do that. Okay. And that's um, uh, Yvonne has said that she uh, is not going to support it. Do, do we need to change some words in that? Or if we it's change not. The signature. Did okay, we just take the signature off. Okay. Thank you. Anything else before Brenda pulls the board? I'm just going to say one more little quick sentence, and that is everything we do is supposed to be through an equity lens and whose voice isn't being heard. 
And there are people who, whether by choice or not, can't avoid social media and can't avoid other people who are exposed to it or the news. It was in the Oregonian. And so when we see elected officials with these attitudes and these words and people hear it, even if they are not, the comments are not directed at those people, they begin to understand that it's okay or they think that it is. And it does affect families and communities that attend our schools that are in our community who don't have the ability to shield themselves from the pain. And it's for those people that we have to say, he has to step down. And may I just um, reiterate real quickly, um, I, I agree with everything that you say, Anna. I just don't believe that it is the school board's role or responsibility um, or within our elected um, capacity to to do that. It, it's not that I disagree with it. It's just that I just don't feel that that's the board's role. Whose role is it, Yvonne? It's every single one of and, them. And that, that isn't, as, as that as isn't, a, it's a, if not us, who? It, every single one of us, but not as a board. Okay, are we ready to take a vote? Here, Spires, I did not hear a first and a second. I heard a first and a second to take it off the it, the the first and the second were on February eighth, Brenda. So that's what you have to reference. Okay. Don't have that in front of me, but I'll pull the board right now. Perfect. Does it matter? Does it matter, um, Larry, that we change the signature line? That we change something about the document? No. 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 Okay. You didn't change the content of the letter. You okay. just go, yeah. okay. go ahead, Brenda. Sorry. Director Saul. Hi. Director White? Aye. Director Kurdeman? Aye. Director Decorius? Nay. Director Farmer? Aye. Director Spires? Aye. Motion approved. Thank you, Brenda. And thank you, everybody. I think it's um, a great discussion. So with that, I'm going to um, adjourn us out of this meeting out of the special session and um chair spires yes we're uh based on our email today were you going to just give a brief update yes we're, um, the, we're, um, the, thank you we have that um does it's not it doesn't look like it's on the agenda but we we have slid it in Um, so we, so we're close, we, we're closing out the special se session and opening um, the work session. So welcome to the work session. <laughs> um, and um, we have a number of things to talk about, but we wanted to um, start with a couple of uh, things that are, were not on the agenda. And I'm, I'm gonna start with the Storm Resource Center at the Oregon City High School. And I was um, going to do this anyway, because I just had to say that I was, at, uh, I was at Biscuits this weekend with my family and where they're now doing some limited seating and uh, wait staff was talking about the wonderful things going on at the high school. And I hadn't heard about that. And I felt so proud of all of our staff and administration for um, standing up the Storm Resource Center and providing power and warm showers. And in talking to Larry about that afterwards, I found out that this came out of a discussion between um, the superintendent and Lisa Norman, and they realized that there was really a lack of resources in our community, and they just stepped forward and put it together, just, you know with the help of um, numerous uh, volunteer staff and community partners. And I just, it just made me a little weepy as I was having my avocado toast <laughs> and biscuits. So thank you everybody for um, providing that great resource. Larry, do you have anything here? I, 
yeah, and we and we we've asked that they'll they'll bring a full report um, at your March eighth meeting. Yeah. Well, I think that's just the kind of thing that this district should be doing, and um, and I'm grateful for you for taking the initiative. And then um, I wanted to give a brief update on the selection process for the vacant board position, position six, um, Scott Dahlman's position. And uh, as we, I think, talked about at the last meeting, um, we got nine uh, applicants for this position. One withdrew. I asked the board to rank.